Hello, how are you? Welcome to CUO, where we make empowering information, where we pr produce and present empowering, empowering narrative to help you on your journeys in life. I have always felt we should have an opportunity to be named twice. One, of course, when we're born, and another towards in our lives. And the second time we choose our names, that's the first time, of course, we're named by our parents, uncles, aunts. In my case, when I was born, I have close to, I'm sure, about, about six names. Uncles, aunts, named when I was born. But I, I go officially with two. And yes, when you're born, you're named by your parents. But I believe we should be able to choose another name in the course of our lives. And that name should not be chosen before you're, definitely not before you're 35. Between 35 and 40, you could now choose another name and you could choose it when you're 50, 60. But I like 40 because uh, 35, 40, but not below 35. So you work with the names your parents gave you knowing that you have to choose your own name between the age of 35 and 40 and it will be indicative of how you think your life has been and the resources and the, 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 the characteristics, the part of you that has enabled you to, to come this far. So it's a positive engagement. So what exactly between since you were born to being 40 that you think has been critical in, 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 in empowering you to move this far? And, um, and um, I did mine. I have my second, I've given myself a second name and it's the Phoenix. The Phoenix. I am inspired by the concept of the Phoenix and I named myself as the Phoenix. I stood in the mirror and named myself as the Phoenix. Now you can have every ceremony you want to. You can have a naming ceremony. You could, you could do it any way you want. I took on that name at a time I couldn't have a huge party. I would have. You know, I have, I'm, this is my naming ceremony my naming me ceremony and it's the phoenix so i just looked in the mirror and said i name you choice as the phoenix you see i have been able to have that mindset of picking names like that because of my first name thanks to my parents my dad named me choice when i was born and choice has always been there for there as a reminder as, as a beacon to be intentional about my life and i think that's why you know I'm comfortable with saying, yeah, I'm going to rename myself now about this age and it's going to be Phoenix, the Phoenix. Why did I choose the Phoenix though? The Phoenix is a mythological concept in many, many cultures and religions. And, and it's mythological, that's, with me, it's, it's, it's more of a concept, but it has some element of divinity in it because the, 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 the myth or the concept of the Phoenix is that it rises again. It could be from the ashes of his predated predators. It could be from the ashes of, of a challenge, of a, but it always emerges again, stronger, taller, and more glorious. It rises from the ashes of crashes, <laughs> if I could use that word. It rises from, from devastation, from, 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 from an experience that is, that could break many. And, those around who watch will think, okay, the phoenix is gone. And there it rises again. It rises in the mist. It rises from the mist of devastation. It talks about resilience, but it's modern resilience. I like the concept of the, the phoenix because you could actually use other phrases and terms, you know, rise again, you know, from the ashes you rise again. But it's more than that. It's just... You know, it's just the unexpected, the way it comes, it reformats itself, it represents itself, but you recognize it as a phoenix, but it has come again to pursue that the life. It has a goal, it has a vision, and when you crush a pathway to achieving, attaining that vision, it rises again more gloriously towards the pursuit of that vision. I have chosen the phoenix. That is what I call myself because of my life experiences. I've, I've, um, I've had some challenging experiences. Even I have wondered, what will you do in the midst of this as I look at it? Then, a month, two months, four months later, I see myself stronger, I've risen again. So, the, 
the process of recognizing and knowing and engaging with a, a, a kind of of renaming yourself that is this is a name you pick for yourself can be very empowering it gives puts you on the seat to to determine to be intentional about the way you want to live your life and how you want what what you want to put forward and take forward as you move into 35 and 40. what is great about the concept of renaming yourself giving yourself another name is that you can your parents or you could tell your children that they would do that when they hit like 10 that record your hair I just want you to know bob john this is the name i gave you but when you hit 35 40 you can rename yourself and have a ceremony and you can rename yourself that renaming has to do with how what you think the resources the characteristics the a word that could be used to describe what has brought you this far it could be many names nothing is perfect nothing is good nothing is low nothing is high it is your own definition concept of what has brought you this far so if you're over 40 engage in it find a name renaming yourself if it's too oh a little bit ooh, there goofy do it secretly because it is very empowering it does work <laughs> you rename yourself it just changes your point of view it just takes you to another level another realm and uh, brings out some elements in you you may not even have known existed <laughs> you know you know those things that are propelling you this far may just be operating subconsciously it means renaming yourself the process of renaming yourself means you recognize them and you can leverage their impact even more i am the phoenix at this age recognizing that yeah looking back i named myself as a phoenix because i look back at my life in the last um, 20 years i recognized there was a strong element that demonstrated that i tend to rise from challenges and i love the concept of the phoenix because of the divinity the mythology that is in it because i just continue to pursue my purpose and i've been asked once you know why did you get that job there was a job that was literally offered to me when others you know it was my first experience of racism and this as a you know woman white woman asked me well why didn't other basically mentioned canadians apply for this i said because i'm nigerian i'm canadian too and um i was after four interviews i was accepted as the best but she said, but why? How did it just happen? Because we were working on another job that was really not my goal. I said, because while I was working here, I continued to pursue my vision. And, uh, and, and, and this came up. That's the divinity. It's like being a phoenix, you rise while you're pursuing your vision. When something comes to, to basically put down the particular pathway in ashes, you rise from that. And I rose. And while I recognize the racism in that, I rose because phoenixes are not victims. They rise. <laughs> phoenixes are not victims. They rise. So please rename yourself. Go into the exercise. What are, you, what are the characteristics that make you who you are today that have brought you this far? Why are you waiting for finding me? You could always use the one I'm using. Be the phoenix because you are here. And to be here today in spite of everything that have happened means you are a phoenix or there are other names you will use to describe your situation you are a sub you're not just a survivor you arise you rise you rise you could be intentional about it or un unintentional about it but when you're intentional about it in terms of reviewing those elements those characteristics in you elements around you that has allowed you to surpass challenges you can leverage it, it more you can leverage it more and you can be a phoenix in different ways in many ways or other names let me know what name you want to use to rename yourself comment let's do this together have 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 a blessed life and a great day thank you thank you